If you had something to say, I feel like you would have said that right then. Yeah, I wouldn't right. expect it to be all smiles and shits and giggles. And then when I turn my back and now I see you, the same person I met, took a picture with and all that shit. Yep. And, and, and now it's like, oh, well, he shouldn't have came up. That's that rules and da 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 No, 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 no. And man, I, I, this is an honor today. This is real shit. And there's some shit that's been going on in the past day, <laughs> which which came at me like a motherfucking train. And I have a special guest out here, and I'm really happy and honored that you are on this uh, uh, um, episode, my friend. And I wanted to introduce you. We talked today earlier. You know what I'm saying? People are like, yo, man, I heard you had some beef. I, heard you had some beef. I said, beef with what, man? Fuck y'all talking about. But this man right here is a is, is, is a rap god, first off, has represented the South like to the utmost as multi, I can say multi-platinum, super, yes. super multi-platinum. Yes. God damn, been rapping over 20-something years. I, I'm a fan. I have you in my fucking playlist when I go to the gym. I, am, I love your movies, the whole nine, bro. And now I welcome you to the Comedy Factory, the one, the only legend, Mr. T.I. T.I. Tip, what's going on, sir? I salute you, brother. I salute you, brother. What's happening? What's happening, man? Likewise. Likewise in return, man. What's happening, bro? You know, <laughs> so you know, the past day... Shit has yeah. shit has been uh, going down because it all started with, you know, I saw you about two weeks ago in in Atlanta, and um, well, I did when I it was a Thursday. So on Thursdays, I usually do like you know you do a long set because it's only one show. It's only one show, and so I was like, uh, yeah, it's Thursday. Oh, something's some someone's bothering. Uh, no, nah, I'm I'm straight. Okay, so it was Thursday. So it's Thursday. And I was like, uh, you know, we do one show. You could go do an hour, hour and a half. There ain't no other shows over there and shit. So I was doing about hour 40. Nice little oh. sweet. I did hour 40. That's what we do on Thursday. It's a warm-up show. So boom, I get off stage and my man Artie Fuqua, he goes, yo, T.I., 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 he wants to go up after you. And I was like, T.I., T.I., for what? Like, it was like. He's he doing comedy? What the fuck? I was like, so I was like, it's his town. Fucking let him go up. And so I went back to the green room, whatever, and I said, I'm, oh, I hope it comes back. I want to get a picture with T.I. Fuck that. Get a T, you know, picture and talk to him. And I said, hmm, is he doing comedy? Okay. And I didn't go in because that's just me. I, I, the, when I'm a headline, I go, I don't even watch the comedians that are on my show. I just don't do that. I just don't watch it because it's like, you know, we're working at McDonald's eating the fucking food. You know what I mean? I just don't. I just, it's just, it's nothing against anybody. I just don't watch. So I go, that's, I've never seen that someone go, unless the headliner himself goes, yo, I got a special friend in the book and I want to bring him up. Boom, boom. So, you know what I'm saying? If I may. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey man, in regard to all that part of what you were saying, uh, there's a, a valiant explanation. <laughs> yes, sir. But it's not even necessary. The only thing I must say to start this conversation. Yes, sir. Is exceptions are made for exceptional circumstances. So whatever you whatever rule you speaking of, I'm the exception to. Got you. Got you. Got you. So now. And and that's you're right. And as a, a a person of comedy tenure, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say, well, that's a little strange. But I didn't say, no, nah, he can't. I said, no, nah, this is his town. Shit, let him go up there. Shit, you know, that's all I said. And so what was said on my podcast was misconstrued as if I was downing. I said I never downed him, dude. I just was talking about the comedy culture. I didn't down T.I. I'm a fan of T.I. He's a fantastic artist, plain and simple. I was just talking about that night as a comedian. That's all I did. I didn't put you fucking down. What I would say is, okay, it wasn't that I thought you were getting on me or anything. It was just, as a rapper, we call that shit sneak this. Mm. Like, that's how it came off as subliminal. Okay. And for one, I think you guys are ill-informed. Mm -hmm. So what I heard the young lady and the young man on there saying that, okay, well, usually people go to open mic nights first. 
usually people pay their dues and do this, that, and the other. And to be honest with you, if you wanted to know the path that brought me to the stage that night, I think it would have been wise for us to have that discussion before you went speaking on things that you ain't even know about. Right. Whether they want to come see me tell jokes or whether they want to hear me talk about my life. Right. Whatever it is, they in there for a reason. And the only motherfuckers got a problem with it is the motherfuckers that wasn't there. Only motherfuckers got something to say about it is the motherfuckers that wasn't in the crowd. And if you was there and came in there and said, I heard him, he wasn't shit, y'all. Right. I can respect that. Right. Because I consider you a motherfucking G. I appreciate And when I say that. G, I'm going to say a giant in this shit. Right. Like a giant in the comedy game yeah, because sure. you've been doing it. And not just for how long you've been doing it. I watched you myself rip that motherfucker for an hour and 40 minutes. Right, right. And I respected that. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? No doubt, yeah. And, no. And, and, and after I got off stage, when we went back, when I was backstage, it was such a, a pleasant exchange. Hell yeah, it was. Hell yeah, it, it was. It was such a pleasant exchange, <laughs> and I appreciated me and you and felt like you appreciated me and me. So I was, forgive, forgive the term, flabbergasted when I heard, you know, like, you're like, hey, man, you know, I wasn't going in there to watch you, man. I ain't, man, make me look small. And no, I mean, no. I ain't, I'm like, bro, right. come I, on, I, man. This I ain't did. the same nigga I met backstage. As far as me just getting off stage and being done an hour and a half, I, I'm done. I'm not, I'm sitting in the, in the green. But I'm like, I want to meet T.I., though. And I'm waiting. That's why I showed you Mad Love. I said, and then I think, I asked you, I said, man, you really trying to do this? You said, I've been doing this shit three every fucking day for day. I said, cool. That's what I said. Because I was sincere about that shit. Because you know, a lot of times, and you know this, it's not. It's like the rap game. There's some motherfuckers that should not be rapping, and I'm sure you go, "What the fuck are they doing?" You know what I mean? This is my art form. What are they? That doing? ain't for me to say. Well, yeah, but to yourself. No, that's not for me to say. Okay, okay. It's not for me to say who should and shouldn't be. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's for the audience to cat to enjoy a show. It, it was not the point of you saying you weren't going to come see me. Like that's and it wasn't the point of you even you saying that you didn't want me come on to come on stage. It's uh, it's the tone in which it was a very condescending tone, and it was really to me kind of like again I'll say it it would it was a different person than the person I met backstage, and I felt like any kind of discomfort you may have felt. And if I crossed the line, I felt like you would have said that then, like, hey, bro, I know you straight, I know you just getting in this, but. You know you ain't supposed to go up after the headliner, right? If you had something to say, I feel like you would have said that right then. Yeah, I right. wouldn't expect it to be all smiles and shits and giggles. And then when I turn my back and now I see you, the same person I met, took a picture with and all that shit. Yep. And, and, and now it's like, oh, well, he shouldn't have came up. That's that the rules and da 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 No, 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 no. Okay, now, that first shit, of all, yeah, I, well, I, like I, that. I, I, I see that. I'm not a two-faced dude, first off. And that's why I said, I need to talk to you right away. Let's talk face to face. And I'm, I'm man up on my shit. That's why I apologize at the top. And I told you that. I said, it wasn't, it was, it's just the way comedians talk. And I'm not dissing you at all. Because there's motherfuckers that have been dissing you like, why the fuck is he doing comedy in the first place? I wasn't doing that. I said, hey, man, it's his, it's his, it's his uh, town. Let him go up. I did not get mad. I just went, yeah, let him go up. But not to put you down, not to be condescending to you, because I was not doing that. And I knew, because when as soon as they said, well, T.I. made a video, I said, I bet you it's the shit I said on the fucking podcast. And they misconstrued it. That's why I wanted to that tell you. That means you knew you were wrong, sir. No, but I knew, you know how, I know when people are going to twist my words, because a lot of times on social media, people do that and take a little part of some shit and go, yeah, this is what he said. I'm going out what I heard. I ain't going out what nobody else said. I'm going out what I heard. The words that hit my ear came out your and mouth. And I'm going I'm, off I'm that. Telling it you all, to do and I'm telling you out said. of my mouth that it wasn't a condescending thing to let you know that because I respect you as an artist. I respect you and I'm a fan. I appreciate that. Yeah, and and, and now, but, uh, but how about this? How about yes, this? Sir. Let's talk. Let's let's talk a little bit about you know what you said about you know because it's people who really really hating on you and did. first of all fuck them. Right. All right, let's just get that out the way. I don't give no fuck about how nobody feel about what I'm doing. Can't right nobody on. give me no approval or disapproval right. about what I should or should not do. Right. If you don't like it, nigga, come get me off stage then. If right. that's how you feel. Or 
let the crowd boo me off stage. Wait till I get booed off stage. You know what I mean? Go. And mm -hmm. then you'll have a lead to stand on. But until then, as long as the motherfuckers in the room enjoy themselves in the rooms that I'm doing, shouldn't nobody have shit to say. I don't give a True. fuck how long you've been doing it. True. I don't give a fuck what you got that I had to go through that I don't got to go through. That's your problem. You think I'm going to dim my motherfucking light so you'll be comfortable? You think I'm going to motherfucking not do some shit that I know I can do so you'll feel good about yourself? Nigga, fuck you, nigga. Right. Right. That's how I feel. I have but every right to as feel I that digress, way. Yes, sir. As I digress, I'm here to love everybody. I'm here to bring. I'm here to bring peace, profit, and prosperity to the whole motherfucking game. All ships rise with the high tide. All you comedians who feel like I'm taking opportunities from you, that's your motherfucking problem. You think another nigga can take an opportunity from you. Nigga, what's yours is yours. Nigga, it's up to you to goddamn right. get out there and perform for it and go get it. There it is. Nigga, what's yours is yours. Can't nobody take nothing from you. Right. Can't nobody take nothing from you, man. If, if, if you've been doing this shit for as many years as you've been doing it, and all of a sudden I jumped in the game five weeks ago, and you think I'm the reason why you ain't where you want to be, nigga, you is the motherfucking nah, problem, not me. Yeah, that's that's not even where I was going at all. That's I ain't not, talking about you per se. I'm talking about you. the people who you said. The, yeah, yeah, there's really some because I don't I know who they are. They were saying there was some. Comments. I'm talking about them niggas. Yeah, got you. I'm talking about them niggas. Got you. Got I'm you. talking about them niggas. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. again, I think you're ill informed because I heard what somebody said on the on the podcast was he ain't even did no open mics. He ain't even, nah, bro. I've been doing bar and grill. And first of all, and he ain't put in the work. He ain't made the sacrifice. Let me tell you one thing. The day I came and showed up at the show that you was on, I could have been somewhere picking up $100,000 to hop on a microphone in front of a DJ. And I no chose doubt. to, instead of doing that, come and do that shit that I did for, uh, on that show that you was on for free. <laughs> you deserve, I, I, I you deserve I to headline. I appreciate that. I just was talking as a headline like, I'm, I'm done. I'm done i i headlined I'm done now if i wasn't headlined, i say oh let me go watch him you know and you're and i even said we were talking i say yo he's comfortable as fuck on stage i said man he's very comfortable on stage he's a storyteller cool i was wishing you well i was it was just how that you know night. i was comfortable on stage if you didn't come see because i saw the videos of you I saw videos. <laughs> <laughs> I saw videos of you telling stories. I say he's really comfortable. Ha! I seen videos of you. And hey I, man, listen, bro. Hey, look, can I tell you something? Yes, sir. I really I have a whole lot of admiration and respect for the world of comedy. Yes, sir. I have a whole lot of admiration and respect for the people who participate and, and, and who've mastered the art of comedy. Yeah. I've been observing, analyzing, and supporting comedy from back at the first since 559, really, Bruce yeah. Bruce at 559, when I was a teenager, since uh, the first Uptown Comedy Corner, the earthquake on, you know what I'm saying, right. when Noah Holston well, was the host. Time, you know what I mean? Since Grand Hustle had our own comedy night mm -hmm. at the other Uptown called Tripping on Sundays. You dig what I'm saying? Yes, when Lil Duval was the host. Okay. Man, bro, I've been in the game, and everybody who's moving around in the circuit is like, man, shit. It's about time we always knew you were so close to the to the to the universe mm. that you had some kind of passion in you. Everybody can see that except for the motherfuckers who, you know, just yeah. wanna got there, had a dick in their breath, just because they feel like somebody is taking the opportunity from them. <laughs> yeah, I was I'm not doubting your ability at all. At all. I'm just telling you. A little bit. Yeah, a little no, bit. No, 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 no. 14 no. seconds. Wait a minute. Yes, you were. Because you played 14 seconds of a set of a jokes that I was working on. You played 14 seconds. And then all y'all, you, you stopped the video at the 14 seconds like, mm. 14 yeah, seconds? That's it. <laughs> How do you know it's 14 seconds? I watched you for five minutes. I watched minutes. the video. I can count. Because I, I count. watched you five minutes. What are you talking about? No, what I'm saying is you played 14 seconds on the, the same, the same, uh, podcast. Oh, that's, I'm talking about that when I watched you on You played 14 own. seconds and you and your constituents, you and your constituents mm. y'all played 14 seconds. Yeah, well, pretty much, that was it. <laughs> no. Man, come on, bro. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Come on, T.I., stop. Believe it or not, man, hey, 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 Gaffrey. Yes, sir. You and the people who you around, your circle, y'all are, y'all like the the seniors yes. in high school. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all like the seniors in high school. So if I'm a freshman and I come in here and I, I'm a freshman coming in here and I let the seniors say, oh, yeah, nah, man, I heard this nigga was like this. I heard he would like that. Man, they're going to take your word for it. I ain't necessarily just talking to you. I'm talking to the people who listening to you because you have in the comedy game, you have a big voice. So guess what? 
I'm gonna need you to get that voice correct when you're speaking on me. Gotcha. I, 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 I would I would say something to that, T. I, you know, one thing about this game, I, I and uh, about this game in general. There's niggas that say all kinds of shit. The proof is in the pudding. It don't matter what motherfuckers say. It don't even matter what Godfrey say. If Godfrey right. say this nigga stinks, I, I got to go see him again. Even if I say, if I see somebody that I think stinks, when I see him and the motherfucker's funny, I'm going to go to nigga funny. Or I'll yeah. even say the nigga got really. funny. I'll change yeah. up simply because... This game is just like any other game. You you show and prove it don't matter what nobody say. There's niggas right now that are more famous than God, than a whole yeah, bunch that, of I, niggas. That, not everybody it thinks I'm funny. Not, not everybody True, thinks I'm what, funny. Though, but get what though. That's just like that's just like I took like I had I had real niggas that I respect, you know, you know, mm -hmm. called me like, hey bro. Like, man, it don't matter what that it don't matter what bruh say, man. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Bruh ain't he ain't no authority like and I'm like, nah, man, I respect him just based off what I've seen of him. You know what I mean? I respect him based off that. And I know that he has a large voice and he has, you know, he has the right to voice and opinion on behalf of comedy because of the work that he put in. So I don't want him to be getting me wrong. I need him to get me, I need him to get me all the way right. Well, like I said up the top, I said I apologize man to man. And I accept. And I, yeah, and I said. And now you can let me open up on your next show and we'll be. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's an open. He's like, hey, man, wow. Well, he learned hey, the game already. Well, 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 well T.I. does a nice 40 on you. So. <laughs> <laughs> and T.I., and listen. <laughs> and T.I., and your superstardom, I don't, I don't fucking sneeze at. You know, because I was just as frantic to meet you and you know that. In comedy in general, there's an economy of time. And the economy of time, when you don't have time, when you don't get time, there's an economy of time that ultimately, ultimately, it, 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 it's not that you can't do 30 and, and make it tight, but when, you, when you're learning, when you're, when you're coming up in the game and you're learning. Hey, the, can I say something? Yeah, sure, sure. sure. You, talk, you talk in that crowd before you walk shit, and sharks were born swimming. That that's uh, this was just something that and it's just something of 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 twenty years in the game that I, I was just trying to trying to say it's something to just keep in mind. If that the, if it don't matter and it don't it don't ring true, it don't ring true. I'm just saying. I respect. Yeah. I respect it when it's time to respect it, bro. Okay. But I'm not gonna feel that way with you just telling me I should. I should fit myself in a smaller not, box that's not to what I'm make saying. people like you comfortable. That's I'm not. I don't want to be comfortable. It don't. I'm not uncomfortable by any of it. Honestly, I, I'm not. Okay, well, I, I don't want to talk no more. I don't okay. want to talk no more. I appreciate the dialogue right. when you when you hit me earlier today. Uh, well, when Nick hit me, Nick hit me, and he said, "Hey man, uh, Godfrey right here, man, and he want to talk." I said, "All right, cool, no problem." And he put you on the phone. And then, you know, we FaceTime and I say, shit, to be honest with you, it's important for us to have this conversation publicly because it's a public matter. And it's important for the world to see black men resolve yes. our sir. issues. Yes, sir. Amicably. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Uh, express ourselves to one another, get our points across and not be trying to tear each other down. No. You know what I mean? Because to be honest with you, we all should be uplifting each other. No I ain't doubt. really got no nothing doubt. against you. I ain't trying to take no food off nobody's plate. I'm trying to bring profit and prosperity to this shit. Because to be honest with you, I don't think there's enough motherfucking money to go around in this bitch. I think we can come in this motherfucker and get there and run the numbers up. <laughs> you know? And, 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 and like I said before, all ships rise with the high tide. You dig? No doubt. So if I see a way to contribute, man, I'm going to try to help you and everybody else on here. And another thing is, I ain't made a dime and I ain't looking for no money. Like I'm in this because I find peace in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a freedom. Are, are it's, you? It's, it's a different expression, a different extension uh, of. It's a different extension of, of of the gifts I feel like God has given me. Yeah. So, Ti, let us know when you're producing specials. But I thank you. <laughs> I thank you for I thank you for giving me the opportunity, or or, or you know sharing the opportunity with Incredible. me. To get on your podcast, yeah, and, you know what I'm saying. Tell I, you hey, I'm, glad, I'm glad and, uh, you came on, brother. Tell you how I feel about it, yeah. And now, you know, what I'm saying we're gonna go on tour together, and you know, what I'm saying, <laughs> and, and, and this shit gonna be, you know, yo, happily ever after. So I, 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 I really, uh, I fuck with that. Thank and, you, thank and, you and, so and much. you know, and thank I, w you. I wanted to, I knew I was gonna be, I know how I was T. I was gonna talk to me today. I said, yeah, I'm gonna do that because I'm the same way. 
And I appreciate you coming on my podcast because that was a privilege because my numbers will go up because of you. So, fuck, it's not the reverse. So, I appreciate you coming up on my show. <laughs>